I'm back here at this rinky dink car wash. Uh, it's a four bay. And I've been looking at different car washes lately because I'm thinking about purchasing one myself and uh, getting into the car wash business. But as we have here, my 2014 Genesis Coupe, it is uh, lightly to heavily modified. It's not on E85 or anything, but that's what I'm about to get into in this video. Because right now I'm just gonna show you guys the top first five mods that I personally think that you should purchase if you were getting a Genesis Coupe platform. I don't wanna be here all day and stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the video with the first mod on the list. I do wanna tell y'all that I think the very first thing you should get if you were looking to buy performance mods for this car would be some lowering springs or either some coilovers because a good set of lowering springs and coilovers will make the car sit quite nicely even if you're on the factory wheels. The factory wheels for this car don't actually look that bad, especially if you're on the 19s. The 18s, they are kind of small, but with lowering, then it'll close that wheel gap that much and it'll give you a lot more inspiration and you'll be more confident in taking corners in the car. You can get you a nice set of coilovers like Megan Racing or a good set of lowering springs like iBop and you can get this type of fitment with your wheel and tire set up. Like I said, if you are in the stocks, then you can get a spacer. I think like a 20 millimeter spacer. It'll push it out to the fender and it'll look good. You'll be riding good, more confidence in your turns and whatnot. And it'll be a better performing and handling vehicle then. The second performance mod that I recommend whenever you're purchasing a Genesis Coupe, it happens to be something on the inside of the vehicle. And it's something that I think personally will enhance the driving experience of this car by a great bit. And that just so happens to be a short shifter. Getting a short shifter will really help out driving this vehicle because like the throws from factory are quite long. And as you can see, mine are like a lot shorter now. But other than that, I'm not sure how strong this transmission is from factory in regards to torque. But it is quite sloppy. And if you get a short shifter, that'll help out with the shifts and make them more crisp and make sure that they go into gear a lot because it is uh, very simple to miss gears with the factory manual gearbox. And two other things that I recommend while getting the short shifter is to get one, the Megan Racing transmission mount and that'll stiffen up the transmission so it won't have any slop or play whenever you are shifting and the 3.8 performance engine leash that's under the hood. With all of those three things installed, the shifting experience in this vehicle will be a lot more precise and you won't be missing gears. You won't have to deal with a lot of second gear lockout that a lot of people do have. I was fighting with that at one point when I went to the track. And it'll just be an overall better driving experience. The third most crucial thing that I think that y'all should get when first buying this vehicle is a true cold air intake and as you can see i have a bk2 and so this was a short ram intake but i have a video if you look at the card at the top right of the screen how i customized this and made it a true cold air intake pretty much is not getting the air from right here in the hot box of the engine bay but the piping actually goes down here and i'm getting air from like right here i'm sooner or later i'm gonna cut this out so i can get fresh air right here when i'm driving but this is a true cold air intake and you can either get this from 3.8 performance they sell them or if you have a bk1 i believe you can get one of these from aem and it's already made it's good piping and everything they've already did the engineering for it and that'll be a good buy number four on the list of things that i think you should get whenever getting this vehicle is I think you should get a 3.8 performance manifold riser because the riser will increase the velocity of the air going through the intake, down through the runners and into your motor, which will and theoretically increase horsepower and torque. These cars from the factory actually have a bad torque dip like in third, during the third gear pull from like 2,000 to four and a half, five thousand 5,000 RPM, which uh, it makes it a lot sloppy and very slouchy. So if you get yourself a riser, it'll raise the torque and pretty much eliminate the torque dip and you'll get the power from there, making it a lot more fun in canyon carving 
and driving through some uh, twists and turns. When it comes to horsepower gains, I don't actually know the numbers for it because my vehicle has never been dynoed, but you can feel a difference whenever driving it. last but not least actually last and the most of the five first things i think you should do to your genesis coupe 3.8 is get a tune you need a tune to tie all of this stuff together and i know y'all are probably gonna grill me and tell me that i didn't say exhaust on this but i'm speaking just performance mods not necessarily making you the fastest in a straight line or the fastest anywhere else but I think drivability and performance, like driving it every day on the street and just having a, a nice daily driver, I think those are the five mods that will do you the best. A good tune can either come from Alpha Speed, uh, a custom tune. I previously got a stage 1.5 tune from SFR on my green Genesis, which is an automatic, and it was a can tune, so it wasn't really geared for my car and for all the mods that I had on it. So I didn't really feel a difference, but with the Alpha Speed tune on this car, I feel a great difference with it, especially with all the mods. And so I really think that's something that everybody who gets this car should do. It wakes it up so much and will make your driving experience that much better. And plus, who doesn't like the pops and bangs that comes with it? Because that's like one of the best things about this car, like how it sounds and stuff. I honestly don't feel like this car from the factory needs an exhaust and I say like I stress the word needs because it does sound good whenever it does have an exhaust you know what I'm gonna make that number five for the people who have an automatic they don't have a stick shift so they can't get the short shifter or the transmission mount I don't think but they can get the engine leash but that will be number five and that's to get an exhaust if you have an automatic from my driving experience with the Genesis and just to uh, put an honorable mention out there for the people who have a base model, I do recommend getting the bigger brakes like the Brembo's, uh, bigger rotors, slotted rotors. You don't necessarily need drilled, but slotted rotors and some nice upgraded brake pads because all that together, like you're going to be driving spiritedly. You're going to be a car enthusiast and do the things that we all do. So you're going to need to stop. You're going to need to put some stopping power behind all of that. Just make sure you don't go into a ditch. All in all, to wrap everything up, first mod I think you should get, lower the car. It'll help out with the center of gravity. It'll make you more confident, inspired to take on some curves and turn the car. Number two is to get a short shifter, transmission mount, and engine leash to stop with all the drivetrain play and stiffen up all of that to make sure that your second gear lockout is not a thing anymore and it also helps with smoother more crisp shifts number three get yourself a true cold air intake don't buy a short ram intake because that'll do nothing but rob you of horsepower and you you won't like that i mean obviously and plus the cold air intake it does uh make some cool noises number four make sure you get a manifold riser to be sure that the torque dip in your horsepower curve is non-existent anymore and you won't have to deal with that because like if you're running somebody or if you're in the middle of a curve or something and you just want to come out and get on the gas you want to make sure it has that punch and last but not least get yourself a good tune tie it all together and you'll have a great driving experience wheels and tires is a thing it's just not on my top five just because the factory tires can do everything that you need them to do actually so uh you don't necessarily need wheels and tires but yep that's what i think should be your first five mods if you're buying a genesis coupe 3.8 and if you did like this video then go ahead and give it a thumbs up i think i'm gonna end the video right here if you want me to go ahead and tell you the first five aesthetic mods that i think you should do to the car then just go ahead and let me know that in the comment section and if the video gets enough likes and you know good interaction with it then i'll be sure to do that for y'all but like i said i'm going to end the video right here so if you aren't subscribed to the channel you might want to go ahead and do so because i feel like i post some of the best genesis coop content on the platform but if not i guess that's just your opinion it doesn't really hurt me but 
Just know that that's what I'm striving to do. Like I said, I'm in the video right here. So always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank you all for watching.